So now we're off to the cave. Hey, it's a little kitty. Hi, kitty. Miri, you're stepping on him. Or her. I don't know what it is, to be honest, but it's all good in the neighborhood. So we got to go to the grave to go get uh, Jakarn, I think his name was. So let's, uh, ooh, let's go get that first. Oh, is that a cave? I think that's where I'm supposed to be going. So let's go ahead and grab this first, because we definitely need the Sky Shards. Isn't he supposed to be doing some cool little animation? I don't know. Not entirely sure, but he's... Well, actually, I know I know for sure he's supposed to, but he didn't do it that time. It was kind of weird. You know what, actually? Before we actually go in there, I do want to change this guy's outfit. So I do have a couple things that are imperialistic. Like this one, but it doesn't look much like a warrior. He looks more like a, like an elder council, of course, like a, like a politician almost. So it's cool and all, but probably not. I could go with an, an alliance thing, which I, I'm not going to lie to you. This outfit, in my opinion, looks really cool. But, uh, I don't know. I kind of want something more warrior-like. I do have this one. This one looks cool. But I'm not sure... If I want to wear that one. That's really all I have as far as... Imperial stuff goes. Because I do have this one. But my main character actually uses this one. It does look really cool though. And it kind of matches the shield. To be honest. No, I want... I think I'm going to go with this. And I'm going to change the mount to the new horse that I just got. I can't get on it right now, but it's all good. I think the horse would actually go good with the outfit that I am that I just chose to put on. Whoa, what was that? Find Jakarn. Ah, he got stabbed. Ah, I'm about to get on fire. That's karma. That's literally what karma is. Okay. So, now that I know that these are... Uh, what are they called? Projectiles. I'm gonna utilize them more often. Also, I'm going to go around and kill everyone I can. Oops. Hold on, do I have an experience scroll? I do for two hours. Might as well take that, right? Whoa. It was already too late. I had already caught on fire. Let's go ahead and get ready to... At least tap these guys. Tap these guys so that... So that we can get some experience. Haha! -ha. Alright. We are doing great here. Leave them alone! Whoa. She just called me a twit. Very nice. Are those heavy? No, they're light. Okay. So, Jakarn appears to be here. I think we're here. There he is. Hi, Jakarn. Or, You're not a guard. Yeah, Jakarn. You have to help me. Uh, Captain Kaleen sent me. She needs your help with the heist. Well, that's perfect. Get me out of here and I'm at your service. You'll find me a man of many talents. Sounds like a plan. If I found a handsome guy locked in a cell, I'd free him. Okay. Did you really steal a gem from Hedman's Bozek? Is that really important right now? Sure, I took that gem, but he took it from some poor merchant. Tossed him in here to die. Can't steal from a thief, can you? All right, I'll get you out. Uh, unlock. Also, I just leveled up. Nice. Thanks. Now let's get out of here. Let's go for health, I guess. Um. Ooh, let's morph. Hardened armor. All right, let me see. The new effect is you gain damage shield after. Casting? Isn't that what this does anyways? 
It probably just escalates it even more. Hold on, let's read the the detail. Uh, while active, the armor returns 712 magic damage to any enemy that uses direct attack against you in melee damage. In melee range. That absorbs... Uh, this scales off of your max health. This would be good for when we eventually respec our points to be more tanky, like an actual definition of a tank. Because right now I'm distributing my points evenly. Uh, just so that it's not as difficult to, to, to level, you know? And this... You release a spray of spikes around you, causing enemies to uh, enemies hit to take damage over time. I think I'm gonna go for this for now, and then eventually I'll just redo that too. I think that was the best bet, to be honest. I hope I'm not wrong. Oh, hello. Let it whip. I really wanted him with that. In a big family, you have to know how to scrap. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. This build is actually pretty fun so far. It's not like a night blade, because night blades are like really, really fast. But uh regardless, it's still pretty cool. I, I like this build. I like this character so far. Alright. Oh come on, it was already gone. So we're escaping now? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I just literally ran straight through the fire like it was nothing. We can't go that way. Uh, why not? Arians out there. Oh, and guards. I saw many, many guards. Look, let's slip out a side exit. That way we can both keep our heads. Yeah, I think he's lying. He seems like the scummy type. Look at him. Like the womanizer type of person, you know what I mean? Alright. Can I actually go, go out through here? No. It, it's it's grayed out, so I can't actually go out through there. That would have been funny, though, if I could. Okay. So, oh, there's some stairs. Stros Mackay. Hey, there he is. What's up, buddy? Thanks for breaking me out back there. Listen, while you're in a heroic mood... Want to help me get something I left with the goblins? You gave something to the goblins? I figure if you want something kept <coughs> safe, give it to the goblins. They'll watch it for free. They're too stupid to trade it. And they'll kill anyone who tries to take it. But won't they kill you if you try to take it? Here's the thing. You went through a lot of trouble to free me, right? There's no way you'll let me get eaten by goblins. So you, my good friend, will follow me to their mine. Yeah? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm understanding the logic behind that. But, sure. <laughs> okay, so, reach the goblin mine. Jakarn's an interesting fellow, though, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like him, he's just, he's interesting. Alright, where are we going, big fella? Ooh, I do... Ooh, look at this horse. Oh, so sexy. Pure sexiness. It really, really is. So, first things first, I want to go grab this Sandy Grotto Way Shrine before I go to whatever destination I'm going to. Is this too steep? Too deep? It is. Of course it is. It's okay, though. And... Got that. Probably in between videos, you guys probably won't see this. I'm probably going to go back and just clear out the map. Like, if you look here, you have, like, uh, the map markers. This is a part of the main quest line, so, go or the uh, zone quest line. So, doing this is uh, stuff that I'm going to do on the channel. So, this is my main priority here on the channel, along with the main storyline. So, the zones and the main is what I'm going to focus on. But all the rest of this stuff, uh, unless it's there, like, uh, like, right next to what we're doing, I'm not going to do it on the channel. But in between videos, like let's say I'm I'm done with this area, port handling or whatever it's called, and I go to my next zone. Um, before I do all of the next zone or start on the next zone, off camera I'm gonna go back and clear all of this stuff. So at least I 100% the map. Uh, 
But yeah, that way, if you guys notice that it's been completed, and you guys are not really sure why, well, that that's why. It's not official though. Like, I'm not 100% sure that's what I'm going to be doing, but I'm fairly certain I'm going to do it. Because this game will require a little bit of grinding off camera, you know, just the level. If that's something you guys don't mind, let me know down in the comment section. If you guys do mind, though, also let me know down in the comment section and I just won't do it. I'll do everything on camera. I'm down for that, too. But my priority is the main story so that I can eventually move on to... DLC areas, you know, so that's mainly what I want to focus on uh, Trying to get to the DLC area, so I'm kind of Gonna be putting out videos quite a bit until that point If you say so All right, so there's bound to be a lot of goblins here. Ah uh. Dude that was close he almost hit me I'm almost certain that, uh, I really do need a number two move, though. Haha. -ha. And I still got my, my missiles. If it doesn't run out before then, it will. Try and keep up. He killed him. He killed her. Jakarn, what a beast you are, my friend. An absolute monster of a person. You. Get stabbed. So farting on them does damage. If we are keeping score, my friend, I'd win. Is there two of us? Oh, he's a tank too, it looks like. Haha. -ha. I'm winning, looks like. I'm gonna grab this. He can go he can go ahead without me, it's fine. Although he is gonna do most of the killing, which means less XP for me, which means I'm getting screwed in the long run. So let's go Oh actually there's nobody even here anyway, so I guess there isn't much killing going on. Hey Jakarn. This is the part where I trust you. Uh what are you talking about? I'll kill the goblins in the scaffolding in the next room. You grab the gem. It's in a chest on the floor. Passage on the far side. Take that and meet me outside. If something goes wrong, regroup at the inn in town. I mean, sounds like a plan. But that was a little weird or shady, if you will, at the fact that he says straight up, This is where I trust you. You're not killing him without me getting some hits. Dunzo. I'm pretty sure I was the one that did the death the death blow. Okay. Rapport increase. So, killing... Hope we find something. Killing these guys... Helps, I guess? Skills. She's not very strong, is she? Okay. So... Ah. Uh. Bingo. I do want to kill everything just because it's a... Uh, although not much, it's still XP, you know? And I want to utilize my scroll as much as possible because I only have it for two hours. So... Oh, you know what? I'm going for it. Run! I wonder if he's going to follow. He did. He just 360 no-scoped. That, that, was, that was dope. What's his name? Corgul Buzzum Bub Bub that that guy. What's up, Mrs. Oric Mog Lurk Cool? In the mine? Dancing? See a scummy Breton up there. Uh what was his name? Yakarn. He's a liar and a thief. He stole a gem from Headman Bosek. We know this. If the gem came back, Bosek might let him live. Can you help me or not? So, we have a predicament here. Sell him out by telling him what I did with the gem. 
or are telling her that I have the gem, or B, lie to her, or just ignoring it completely and just running away. So the thing is that Jakarn has actually been honest with us. He told us straight up that he stole the gem, but he stole it. But he, he guess he doesn't have like much of a conscience behind it because he stole it from other people. And he does seem scummy though. But not in the sense that he would screw us over. More like he's just he's just a shady individual, you know. I think I'm gonna say sorry. I haven't seen him. Now that's just too bad. If you do run into him again, tell him that if we catch him, he's dead. I won't. Bye. He's my friend. As scummy as he is. He's my bet, my best friend, really, right now. Well, I guess Miri's Miri counts for something. Um, so where am I in terms of quests? Okay, it's all the way over there. So we gotta go to in the meet your car at the end. Okay, too easy. It's it is a little bit far, so I'm definitely gonna get on my horse. You know what, Miri? I have a better. Lore wise, a better mount for you that I do want you to use. It is a uh, by okay, yeah, let's let's give you that one. Lore wise, I think this probably makes the most sense, and it looks good on her. Miri, you're really coming up in the world, aren't you? Oh god, I'm gonna have to do some swimming, aren't I? Let's minimize it as much as possible. I think I could have ran through that, to be honest, but... Oh, well. Whip it! So, meet your card at the inn. Will do. Ooh, there's a store here. Should we check it out? Nah. Wait, hold on. Where? Where's the inn? It's on the opposite side. We'll check out the, the little shop later if we have an opportunity. But for now... Is this a guild trader? No, it's just a merchant. Hey, have you seen Jakarn? If you're looking for that bastard Jakarn, he's at the tavern with a red god girl. Oh, I knew he was a womanizer! I knew it! That guy is sleazy, I'm telling you. He's a sleazy individual, but I love him. Not like that. Well, maybe. I'm just kidding. No. Uh, what happened? I overheard him telling a red god girl he'd whisk her off to Sentinel. She's a ship captain. She swooned like a fool, like I did. I'd tell the headman where he's hiding if I didn't hate the headman more. I need off this island. Well, goodbye. I knew he was sleazy, man. I knew it. You just got that vibe from him. Oh, there he is. What's up, Jakarn? Is this the sleazy girl you were talk she was talking about? Or this one? Hey there. Glad to see you made it out. Uh well he's the gem you stole. Hey now, the headman stole it first. And you brought it back to me, didn't you? Thanks, good looking. I think he definitely swings in two different directions. Uh look at the smile on his face. <laughs> uh you owe me for freeing you, and Captain Kalee needs your help. Seeing as it's you asking, sure. If she's planning a job, I'm in. All I ask is a trip off this rock after it's over. Well, I'm down. I would ride with you anywhere, Jakarn. Wait, hold on. Need any help? What was that? Who are you, Nicolene? I didn't think I'd ever find you. She's cute. Uh, can I help you? I'm Nicolleen. I work for Captain Colleen. She sent me to find you, see if you'd had any luck recruiting for our heist. Looks like you're already making new friends. I mean, I guess you could say that. And listen, you could say that. So you know, we're set up in a hideout near the docks. Come find us when you finish recruiting. Look for Lambour outside the door. Yeah, I'll find you when I'm ready to leave. There's three folks Captain Colleen wants to help with her heist. Crafty Larissa, Jakarn, and Naramo. She told me about them. Who do you want to know about? I mean... Jakarn is right, l literally right there. Uh, so tell me about Crafty Larissa then. She's in Sainsport. The Sea Drakes lured her ship onto the rocks. Those bastards really know how to ruin your day. It's south of Port Hunding. Look for the big lighthouse. Okay, well tell me about Narama. 
He's a brilliant Dwemer sage. Not that he's Dwemer himself, but he studies them. He's out of this Zark, digging in the ruins there. How cool would it be to have Dwemer back in, uh, in Elder Scrolls? Well, I mean, th there's like the sole survivor in one of the previous games. But, uh, hold on. Let me go ahead and... Uh... Crafting warrior armor and metal weapons. Assassin's armor. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess this makes the most logical sense for my character. Let's go for stamina. And then we'll go with magicka next. Yeah, we're doing an even. I do need a... I, I do need another weapon. Or another... Ooh, puncture? As much as I want to morph this right now as much as i want to morph this right now i'm gonna go for low slash yeah i'm gonna go for low slash so at least i have a full bar and having two of this uh two one-handed shield uh skills on my bar and rotating through them is only gonna make my skills go up a lot faster you know so, I mean, I guess we'll pick those up. Not like it really matters. This is for two hours, too. Let's go ahead and take that, too. Might as well. Hold on. There was something else. What does this do? Ooh, a soul gem. Yeah, let's take all of that. I got four soul gems now. All right, we're good. So now we gotta go find Captain Colleen. She's over there by the docks. Which really isn't that far. So that's good. Wait, hold on. I've lost everything. Colleen's hideout finish your recruiting. No, I'm not trying to do that. Oh, these are the other guys. So Saint Sport. Saint Sport is crafty Larissa. Which one's closer? Uh we'll make the determination that way. This is. So this is Crafty Larissa, and then this one's got to be Naramo. Naramo seems closer, so we'll go with Naramo. Hopefully it all works out for the best. Uh, let me talk to this person real fast and see what she wants. Hey, the captain's looking for you. What's going on? Thanks to your work, we can go ahead with the heist. We've even got a few extra sailors clamoring to join our crew. You should talk to the captain upstairs. Yeah, I'll go speak to her, but I want to go get the rest of the crew first. Wait, did it disappear? It did. So... Yeah. So this is the place I'm going to... Okay, whatever. I don't know which one's which, to be honest. I think this is Naramo. No, that's... That's Naramo. Because I'm pretty sure... Crafty Larissa... This horse is so sick. So sick. My favorite color is blue, but something... Here, let me zoom out a little bit. I, I mean, I guess I could just do this. But something about the red... And this gold just looks flawless. And the same thing goes for my outfit. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And head on out. We're really coming up in levels already, man. We're we're already at level 8. Uh, I think we're actually here. Hold on, who's this guy? There's a guy right here. Those guys are over there PvP. Whatever it is, I didn't do it. Uh, what are you doing out here? Who knows? Naramo, I guess, but not me. I'm only here on Bosek's orders. To make sure the elf does his job. I never agreed to dig around in the sand for mad dwarf toys. And what if I wanted to help? Be my guest. Go talk to Naramo. I'm sure he'll be delighted to offload more of his task onto someone else. I mean, I'm down. I'll go find him. Uh... Is, yeah, talk to Naramo. We found him. Ooh, yes. I need one of these crystals to make me look fabulous. 
And then we'll go talk to Naramo immediately after. Hello, my friend. Oh, wait. There's a book right here. Gladly take that. Miraculous. To think that the Dwemer of Old Volenfell settled as far as Stros Mackay. My brother and I have scoured the ruins exterior for some time now, but we have never been able to get inside. Uh, why do you want to get inside so bad? Several reasons. One is that Hedman Bosek commissioned me to explore the ruins. A fascinating aspect of Dwemer ruins are the ancient mechanisms to be found inside. Bosek thinks to use them in Port Hunding. I need to get inside to investigate. First of all, he looks really cool. Not gonna lie. Second of all, yeah, perhaps I could help. An excellent suggestion. I believe this automaton can unseal the door, if it can be reassembled and controlled. I have its control rod, but two focusing crystals seem to be missing. Find them, and I'll do the rest. I think he's talking about this thing right here. Uh, what can you tell me about the Dwemer? Some call them dwarves. A race of brilliant artisans and metal workers who possessed great ingenuity. They built vast underground cities filled with remarkable inventions. Now such works are all that remain of the Dwemer. What happened to them? None can say for sure. Some believe they achieved divinity. Others claim they were consumed by some folly of their own. Perhaps both are true. But long ago they vanished. The entire race leaving little but their marvelous treasures behind. Treasures? What treasures? Dim the gleam of avarice I see in your eyes. The treasure I seek is knowledge, worthless to any but a scholar. Those who help me acquire this can expect to be well rewarded, however. Okay. So... We got two hit points. Whoa, that guy... That guy looks pretty cool. So we got two places we gotta go, it appears. Aw, poor doggy. He's dead. R.I.P. Little tiny wolf. As I kill this other one. Haha, -ha, I just farted on him. He did not see that coming. Bazooka missiles! Good job, Miri. You're an absolute savage. Oh, this is the... Focusing crystal. It says secondary. Do I have to do them in order? Or is it just... I just need both. Both of them. Hello. Haha. -ha. He did not see that coming. I really do enjoy... This whole sword and shield thing. Oops, strong button. All of that was <laughs> kind of pointless, to be honest. Okay. Pokey pokey. These guys are not even that tough. I don't even have to do any of my moves. Aha! I found it. M missile launchers. Absolutely. Yeah, there it is, the primary. So that should be it, right? Oh man, I really wanted to blast him. At least collect some XP before the homeboy back there took him out, but oh well. What you gonna do? Hiya! If I was a skateboarder, I would have broken ankles right there. Hey, what's up, Naramo? Assemble the spider, but I must be able to control it. That reminds me, did you find the crystals? As a matter of fact, I did. Here you go. Splendid. Now, I just insert them into the rod like so. By the way, I hope you can destroy this mechanism if it attacks us. I mean, I can, but... Okay. Let's see here. I like it. Works. I knew it would, of course. I like it. it looks cool. Into the tunnel you go. Now to get that door open. 
Is he doing it? He disappeared. He went to the little hole. The sock. Come, we'll talk about our next move inside. Will do. Enter Bazark. Ah. Oh, there he is. Hi, little fella. You're a little cutie, aren't you? Hey, Naramo. As you see, Headman Bosek's trust in my skills was not misplaced. Nor was my faith in your prowess. Will you assist me on another task? Uh, sure. What do you need? Despite the age of these ruins, I suspect the usual defenses are in place. As I am averse to danger, would you explore the ruins to locate any Dwemer generators inside? A uh, generator? <laughs> What's a generator? Oh, I suppose I'm the only one who calls them that. Independently apportioning dynamo core is a mouthful, but the Dwemer built them to last for generations. I say generators to honor their enduring nature. Uh, what do I, uh... What do I do if I find them? This control rod will keep our new friend loyal to you. I suspect the generators have been damaged over the years. You'll need to escort the spider to each and bid it to repair them. Down. Toodaloo. Okay, so... There's two sides, it looks like? This guy took everyone out, apparently. I like that dinosaur thing that he's got. I got my own little robot spider. Ooh. I'm not gonna read that, but... You guys can, if you guys want. So the other one is across, it appears. Ooh. I'm not gonna read that again, but if you guys want to read it, push pause. Feel free. Bazooka! They're coming for us. Are they? I didn't notice. Ha! Didn't even stand a chance. Why are you so nervous? What is this thing right here? I'm not sure. Hiya! That's all you got? Shame on you. You really thought you could do something against me. Here you go, Naramo staff. Or a uh, control rod, I should say. Speak with Naramo in the central chamber. <sighs> that guy was pretty cool. They do not stand a chance, do they? Hi, Naramo. Whoops, wrong button. Excellent work. The Sark breathes again. Now for a personal project. How would you like to earn a little more coin? Go on. I'm listening. As you see, we are not the first to enter Bithsark. In truth, I accepted Bosek's request to explore these ruins only because they contain something I want. Something I believe others died trying to obtain. What is that? Knowledge is the greatest treasure. The Dwemer guarded their secrets as a king protects his gold. In Bizarre, the Dwemer hid a set of schematics, mechanical drawings that I greatly desire to possess. And you need my help to find them. An easy task. Those earlier explorers likely retrieved them, only to find themselves sealed inside Bethsark through some treachery. Their misfortune is my hour game. We must find where they perished. Alright, let's go! There may be more constructs waiting on the other side of this door. You go first. <laughs> He's a coward! But it's okay, I understand. We can't all be brave specimens as myself. Lucy, I mean, well, it's not Lucius Invictus anymore because I changed his name to Amerigamer. The schematics were here. I doubt they escaped. I think the schematics are right here. No, these are this is just a journal. Never mind. These writings could prove crucial to understanding the schematics. My brother should be able to decipher these. Interesting. Continue looking for the schematics. I'll meet up with you shortly. We'll do, Naramo. He's a pretty cool character. I like him actually. Okay. Avoid did that just say? 
So I could either avoid traps on that side. Oh, oh well. I guess it's combat. What's up, buddy? You literally don't stand a chance, my friend. Sorry to break it to you. What is the next? Ooh, we got a twofer. Come here. And she's healing me. Dude, Miri is a monster. No, shoot. Dunzo. Dude, being a tank is so much fun. One of the biggest reasons why I chose to do a tank is because nobody, at least to my understanding, nobody likes to play tanks. Um, so, I don't know, I just kind of want to... Wanted to just give it a shot, you know what I mean? It's not really going to hurt anyone. Nice. Plus, I like to live. You know, I don't. I don't want to die. That'd be. It wouldn't be very entertaining if all I did was die. An occasional death here and there. That's fine. But non-stop. Ooh, it's a dwarven sphere. Ooh, I found the schematics too. Talk to Naramo outside. Will do, my friend. Will do. Oh, he's right here. I was just coming to, uh, help you. I hope you found what we were looking for. Well, it's okay. I know you're a coward. But, as I promised, here's your drawings. The schematics are <coughs> mine at last. Splendid. This places me in your debt. What would you ask of me in return? Uh, nothing much. Just help Captain Colleen with the heist that she's planning. We'll call it even. I hear Killeen intends to head towards the Isle of Bednik. The ruins there greatly interest me. But first, I will assist you in this heist. Good! I must get the schematics to my workshop. Join me if you wish to return to town. Come, Clanker. Did he just call me a Clanker? Rude. I still got someone else that I gotta get though. Where's Crafty Clarissa? How far is it? Not that far, actually. I could probably just swim right through here. Hold on. And our map is almost done. And one of these crystals is actually right in the middle of where I'm supposed to be going anyways. Let's go. I'm gonna ride a horse and then just dive into the water. Another distraction. Go! And just like that, my horse disappeared. He's got magic powers. He's actually a magical horse. Alrighty. Let's get back on our horse. Oh, there's like a shallow part right here that I could run through. Perfecto changeo. Discover Saints Port. Crafty Larissa, I am. Who are you? I need help. Help me. They're after me. Wait, hold on. Chill out. What's the problem? The sea drakes. When it gets foggy, like last night, they play tricks with the lighthouse. Lure ships aground. The Maiden's Breath, my ship, they lured us in and wrecked us. Where's the rest of your crew? Drowned or captured. Captain <gasps> Larissa's looking for them. You heard of crafty Larissa, right? I have, actually. Anyway, I'm through. No more sailing for me. You want to find the captain? Just look for her monkey, Howler. Find the monkey. Got it. So I gotta find a monkey, apparently. Help. Uh, uh oh. Gotta get my shield up. Perfect. I really should rearrange my stuff. My skills. Because. Uh. This should be first. There. Go from one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And I could just skip straight to five if it's a, a ranged uh, uh, 
uh, enemy. What's up, buddy? Ah! Oh. See, this is perfect. This is a perfect rotation. Oh! She knocked me out! Okay, well, she's gone. Oh, then there's the other Sky Shard right there. Let's go. Oh, the monkey! I found the monkey! Hold on, monkey. So that means she's inside this building. Where is she? Hello? Oh, there she is. You aren't at all what I was expecting. What were you expecting? Someone less attractive? What brings you to this trash pit? First of all, how did you do that? Sneak up on you? That's what I do. Now answer my question. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here to rescue you. Uh, Captain of the Maiden of Breath. Maiden's Breath. Oh, charming. The Maiden's wrecked on the sandy shore. That's not good. As for crafty Larissa, you found her. Yes. Just in time, too. Captain Helene Seadrakes have my crew. I won't leave without them. Help me rescue them, and I'll owe you a favor. Alright, I'm down. What's the plan? We're going to disguise my crew as Seadrakes. Take these clothes. Look for a portly Breton, a sour red guard, and a big orc. The Drakes are keeping them in the large buildings. Once they're out, meet me by Helene's ship. Uh, what if I need a disguise, though? Look for hampers with clothes. Or kill a sea drake and take theirs. Put on their clothes and you'll look just lovely. Oh, do watch out for the sea drakes with torches. They're not drunk. If you get too close, they'll spot you and alert the others. I understand. Let's get started. Remember, you can take clothes from hampers or off-dead sea drakes. Ooh. Okay. Sea Drake disguise. And stay away from people oh. with torches. People with torches. I don't see anyone with a torch yet. So I gotta I gotta I gotta be careful. Wait, that's Crafty Lurs again. Warm your bones. See the two dead pirates? They killed Lazy Gwail. I liked him. Only pirate I ever knew who liked rats. Now the pirates who killed him are rat food. Seems fitting, doesn't it? In a strange, ironic kind of way, sure. Dude, she just, like, appears and disappears everywhere. It's pretty cool, actually. So, I'm still gonna stay away from people, because I don't want to get caught. La la la, don't mind me. Are they upstairs? I really need to go get that Saintsport uh, way shrine. You're going to kill me. Get it over with. Relax. Larissa sent me. Take this disguise and sneak out. Ha! Huh. Another of Helene's tricks. Let me go, then chase me down and beat me within an inch of my life. <coughs> how chancy to make a run for Port Hunding. See how far I get. Here, let me untie you, buddy. Word of advice. Don't let them capture you. If you can't get away, die fighting. I plan on it. Definitely plan on it. Okay, so we got rescue and release. Dude, look at all these guys. That guy is getting jumped. I probably should help him, but... Pretty sure that would ruin my disguise if I did. There's so many people here. Found you. Herodin. Choke and die, C Drake. I'll spit on your grave. Chill out, bro. I'm not C Drake. Larissa sent me. I've got a disguise for you so you can escape. I knew she wouldn't leave me to rot. Quick, untie me. The C Drake spent the past few hours breaking my fingers. I can't wield a sword, but I can still strangle a few on my way out. All right. Well, here you go. Have fun there, buddy. Give pirates a bad name. Kill every last one of them you see. Uh, or I could just stay disguised and not get caught. Seeing as most of the XP comes from actually competing qu uh, quests and stuff. Or dungeons and stuff. 
Okay, how do I get into this? Oh, oh, ah! Oh. I saw the... I saw the torch in the last minute. Man, I no... Oh, wait, I was about to say I no longer have a disguise, but I do, as a matter of fact. She dropped it. Hey, what's up, buddy? Don't beat me again. Um. First of all, I never did that. Second of all, Larissa sent me. Take this guys and get out of here. Thank the eight. I thought I'd die in here. Elaine came by not long ago. Told me to look forward to a public slaying. Then she beat me bloody, laughing the whole time. She's one cold witch. Okay, then. We know she's a bad person. So let me get you out of these ropes. Stay away from Helene. She's a monster. If you say so, I believe you. I... I want to run to this way shrine really, really fast. I want to grab it. It's the last one we need to. So there's that. So that concludes that. Uh, that's a two-handed, I guess a shield? It's the only thing that really makes sense for me. We'll go over here, and it is way better, too. It's nice and little dainty with more protection for some reason. But hey, sure, why not? I'll take it. Let's go ahead and meet Larissa. I don't know why, but her name kind of reminds me of that old... I think it's like a Nickelodeon show from way back in the day. I'm just showing my age here. It's called, like, Clarissa Explains It All or something. Alright, where is she? Well! Hello there! You're a welcome sight. I've rescued everyone but Crenard, Herdin, and Meacock. Any luck? Found all three, as a matter of fact. They're all safe. Almost done then. Everyone's out except my first mate, Deragor. They've got him in the belly of Helene's ship. You'll find the keys below deck. Look for Deragor down in back. First things first, how did you make yourself look like a fern? Good trick, that. Did I really disguise myself as a fern? Or did you see a fern because you weren't looking close enough? I saw a fern. I was looking right at it, as a matter of fact. Uh, what are you gonna do when I rescue Dreger? I'll be visiting Helene in her cabin to thank her for the hospitality she's extended my crew. Come on up after you release Deragor. You should really say hello. How did you get a key to her quarters? Her cabin girl had a key. Poor little Bosmer lass. Barely any meat on her bones. I think Helene was starving her. She's on her way to Port Hunding now, and I'm one key richer. Good to know. Okay. So we gotta get onto the ship. Does this disguise still work on the ship? I guess we're about to find out, right? Is that an Argonian or a Khajiit? I'm <laughs> they look ridiculous jumping off, I swear. Uh, okay, so they're down here. Lockbox. And what do I get? Save Draugr. Dre Dreger. Dr whatever his name is. Bloody Witch Storeroom. Well, that was easy. I'm not telling you anything, scum. What have you done with Captain Larissa? Relax, bro. She's actually fine. She's the one that sent me to rescue you. Yeah? Ha! I knew she got away. Helene said she was being keel hauled and beaten, but I knew better. They don't call my captain crafty for nothing. Get me out of these ropes and let's get out of here. I think he's British. Captain Larissa never leaves anyone behind. Make sure she's safe. Okay, he was walking backwards for a second. That was a little strange. What is he, a high elf? I, I guess I should have paid attention a little bit. He's definitely not a dark elf, so he's either a high elf or a wood elf. I'm leaning more towards high elf though. He didn't seem like that woodland type, you know? So let me see. 
What have you... Did you poison me? My captain. Are you feeling okay? I've got you. Is that her? Stuck pig. Cut your eyes No, that's Sarian. Roast you. Oh, wait, she just... Like you did my crew. <gasps> that won't happen again. She killed her. Oh, she fell down. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. Good. Uh, I like her a lot, actually. Oh, uh, what did you do to her? Me? Did I do that? Yeah. Her starving little cabin girl may have poisoned her drink. Who can say? Did Daragor get out? Yeah, he did. He's free. I'll just be going then. I told my crew to gather on the beach. I'm going to make sure they all made it out. Meet me there and we'll square up. Uh, what kind of poison did you use on her? Oh, it's yarn root. A very nasty local poison. It won't kill her. Not right away. It starts by dissolving the stomach lining. Then goes Gross. From there. If you know, if you've ever played Skyrim, uh, there's a mission in the Dark Brotherhood quest line where you need to use the, jar the yarn root on the imp. Well, I'm not going to ruin anything, but you have to use it. Uh, and it's very interesting, for sure. Uh, wh what would you do if I gave Helene the antidote? I'd feel mildly disappointed, but I leave it up to you. Meet me on the beach once you're done here and we'll settle up. Just watch your boots. She'll start vomiting soon. You're just going to leave her to die then? I'd love to stay and watch, but no time. You can stay if you like. It's actually her poison kept for slaves who disobey. There's an antidote on the dresser if your heart bleeds enough. Now that I know that she uses it on everyone else, I'm not going to give her an antidote. I will give her some mercy though and just take her out. Oh, I stabbed her. Yeah. I think Mercy was the best. So let's... Oh, that's why they jumped off. Because they're trying to get to the beach. Talk to Crafty Larissa. Absolutely. Is this a player? No, that's a... Uh, that's someone else. Oh, there they are. Is that them? Nope, that's just a mud crab. All right, let's go ahead and go. I really want to take off this disguise. Is this it? Yes, it is. Unequip. Perfect. Now I look normal again. Hey, crafty Larissa. My crew's safe and only a little bit tortured. I call that a win. Yeah, I kind of offed Captain uh, Helene. Many a captain who sails these waters will be glad of that news. Now, let's talk favors. I owe you a big one. Uh, well, since I helped you, I was hoping that maybe you can help Captain Colleen pull off her heist? She's a bit too obsessed with old Faharajad for me, but I like her style. Seeing as I need a new ship, gold will come in handy. I'm in. Can't let what you did for us go unrewarded. See you back in town. Good to know. So we got, we got everyone then, right? Let me see. I think we got everyone. And we pretty much got everything here minus this and this. Okay. Well, I kind of think I'm going to make an exception for this video alone. And go here, here. Just do some quick exploration and then go and then take off with the heist. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that.